Hello, and welcome back to the workshop. I have a real treat for you today. We're going to be upgrading the pins in my flat pedals to help improve the grip so my feet don't slip off in that crucial moment when I'm riding the trails. The existing pins in these Boardman MTB flat pedals leave a lot to be desired. Firstly, we need to get the old pins out. This is easily done using a small Allen key. It's a real shame about the stock pins in these pedals because, aside from that, they're pretty much bomb-proof. The platforms themselves are machined from a single billet of aluminium, which makes them very lightweight, resistant to flex, and very strong. The axle has a light self-lubricating bearing, which is more commonly known as an LSL bushing on the crank side, with a decent seal to keep the muck out. Then there's a small sealed cartridge bearing on the other side with another decent seal in the end cap to help prevent water ingress. The steel axle is thick enough to withstand the inevitable rock strikes when pedalling on the trail. It then tapers down inside, inside the pedal platform to help reduce the weight further. Coming in at 372 grams, these pedals are a good trade-off between value for money, reliability, durability and weight saving. Now we have all the old pins removed, we can look at the replacements. I've chosen 12mm long M4 stainless steel grub screws for the pin replacements because they fit the existing threaded hole are long enough to give good grip and are resistant to corrosion. I use a stainless steel M4 nut as a lock nut. Threading the grub screw into the platform, I leave about 7 to 8 millimetres of the screw exposed. Using a small Allen key to hold the grub screw, I can secure it in place with the M4 stainless steel lock nut. The process is now repeated for each and every grub screw until all 16 are secured in place. I use these pedals for all of my bikes now, and I've upgraded each of them using this method too. It's an upgrade that's really well worth doing. Although it may seem like installing these longer pins would cause more damage if your feet actually did slip off the pedals, the reality is that they improve the grip so much that your feet almost never do. With the one side of the pedal now completed, I can flip the pedal over and fit the new pins into the other side. The whole job doesn't take too long to do. It's a pretty quick and well worthy upgrade.
With the one pedal now complete, just repeat the same operation on the other pedal. All that's left to do now is to admire your handiwork, install them on the bike and look forward to more firmly planted pedaling. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more content.